To excel in anything in life, practice is required. This is true for athletes, musicians, plumbers, accountants, and disciples of Jesus. Practice doesn't just make perfect, it makes the practice thing a permanent part of our lives. Of course, training has difficult aspects, but the hard work pays off to make life more full of joy. Just watch a master pianist and you'll see that she's not straining to do well, but enjoying the music. Spiritual life works the same way. We need habits that engage our mind and heart with God. However, habits don't just appear. Forming habits requires intentionality. They require practice. In the Psalms, we see David expressing the heart of this very idea. He certainly had his share of trials and tribulations. He is also known as a man after God's own heart. What was unique about David was his strong desire and relentless, intentional pursuit to know and understand the heart of God, carry out the will of God, and experience the glory of His very presence. He knew that his time spent with God was not about shoulds or should nots, but about loving God more deeply. Spiritual practices are not about striving and performing. They're about delighting in our relationship with God, about being more whole and connected with Him. The richness of David's relationship with the Father did not come from the ritual of reading the Bible or prayer, but from open, honest, and personal encounters with the living God. So what are you practicing? How are you investing your time? When and where will you meet God this next week? And how will you spend your time together?